Hello, it's Dr. Triple O Seven. In today's video, I want to introduce you guys to Better Explorer. Better Explorer is a Windows Explorer alternative. Now, when Windows Explorer is is basically this right here. The application allows you to browse your, through your files. Now, Better Explorer is is a explorer that basically replaces it and gives you a better version. Nice thing about Better Explorer, it's constantly being updated and a bunch of other stuff. So, always having new features and unfortunately Microsoft cannot always update Windows Explorer because they have other things to worry about, security updates, etc. So, using a third party one sometimes is better because of the extra features. Better Explorer has a bunch, bunch of features, so things like ribbons, tabs, archive support, enhanced search, size charts, and image editing, along with translations. I will show you exactly what it is. So in order to get it, all you gotta do from the home page is just click the big download button here. And it is also free by the way. So all you gotta do is click the thing right here. I'm currently reviewing the beta 2. So it's not even on a beta yet, but it's a pretty cool thing. So uh, check it out and just click on it. And for the purpose of this video, I have already downloaded it. And so I'll run the install file. It has a pretty clean install file. Um, press next. And in order to click it, you can't click license terms until you pull the scroll button all the way to the bottom. Then you can click it. Then click next. Do the complete installation, I would suggest. Next, next, and install. So I've closed it. And now what I'm gonna show you guys is once you install it, by default, it's gonna do an integration. What I mean by this is, when you click the default um, Explorer icon, the file explorer, it's gonna open up and give you better Explorer. This is also the case if you press the Windows and the E button, which opens the Explorer. Now, instead of opening Default Explorer, the default one is now Better Explorer. So we're going to start off with the options. So in the options, or in the information window, we have the ability, uh, the ability to click the Update button, check for updates, website, report a problem, and we have some information like who built it, etc. In the options we have, we can change where it starts up, we can make our default viewer unclick that, um, third party file replacements or operations, um, overwrite original. This is, uh, I'll, I'll talk, about, talk to you about this later. Language, they have a bunch of different languages as you can see all these under here at least. Updates, um, you have the update channel and all kinds of stuff like that. Ribbon, you can choose a color, handle item, icons and tabs. So this is the silver one right here. Um, this is the blue one. And my personal favorite is the black one. The black's kind of like a steel, so I, I like that one. So now we'll get started with what it does. So as you can tell, it looks pretty similar to the default one with 8 one, but there are some enhancements. So when I click on um, this picture, for example, it automatically opens the images tool tab with the ribbon UI and switches to it. The options that I get, um, my favorite one is the converting option. I can convert to these five um, formats automatically. So this is a JPEG, so I will convert to a PNG. It automatically creates a new file, PNG file, perfect. So this is great for um, changing something to an icon or switching, for, sorry, switching from an icon to a different one. You know, it gives you the five most popular photo types and allows you to switch them. Along with the converting option, we have different flipping. And when you click it, it creates a new one and flips it the way you want it to flip it. Alright, said. So that is a great option. You also have the ability to resize it to whatever size you want. So let's say I wanted to make this into like an icon size. I, I can go 32 by 32 and that would completely erase it and make it 30 by 32 by 32. So, like I mentioned earlier in the options, the overriding image. So what, by default, what it's going to do when you resize it or um, rotate, etc., 
it creates a new file and then rotates it. By clicking that option, instead of creating a new file and rotating, it's just going to rotate the default file. Along in the other options here, so um, one thing I do like in this program is the conditional select. This allows you to select things that are the same condition. So the two standard ones are same type and same day. If you go to more, you can go like ends with, equals with, ends with, starts with, all kinds of stuff. Date created, all those. So let's say right here, I have selected this PNG file. And when I click the conditional select and go to same type, it selects one other one, which is the other PNG file. So this is great when you want to extract something. You want to get like five of, there's a hundred files, but you know there's a couple PNG files. You click one PNG, it'll find the rest for you. There you go. Another thing I love about this Better Explorer is the ability, because it has 7-zip integrated with it, the ability to extract archives instantly. So I click this 11 drop right here, it automatically switches to the archive tools. I can check it, I can extract it, I can extract here, which basically I click that instantly, boom, 11 drop right here, there you go. If I was to open it up, you can see I just have lemon drop. So that's my personally one of my favorite um, abilities of this program. Another option it has, another cool feature it has, is the tabbing option. What the tab does, so I click new tab, you have two of them. So now I have, I can have the documents here, downloads there, and I can just switch back and forth instantly. I can go as many as I want to. I can go three, four, etc. All I have to do to exit them is exit. If you exit one by accident, you can go to the undo to undo option and click the last one you want. You can clone a tab and you can save a tab. Saving tabs kind of like a favorite. You can do that, and click it, and skip to it. Along with um, the home options, most of them are kind of similar to the Windows 8 one. So you have the properties, you have to copy to move to copy and paste. Under share, uh, one extra feature this does have is the ability to make an archive. So we're clicking on it. Oh, sorry. You have to click a file first, then click make archive. And you can add files. And using the power of 7-zip, you can choose different uh, options and give it a password, give it a name, choose where you want to do it, click compress and does it for you. Another great cool, cool feature it has is the searching option. So if I type in two here and I search it, I have different options that it comes with. So I can go, I can search by name and type and size and blah, blah, blah. So I can go to view, I can click, I can sort them, refresh them, hide selected items. Um, I can group them by name, di ascending, descending, all that awesome stuff. Stuff. Along with the um, back and forth buttons, you get the up button, which kind of brings you to the parent folder. So if I go to the downloads folder, I click this one, the parent folder is my home folder. There is no parent folder to that, oh, the desktop is. So the parent folder to that is the desktop, and obviously there's no parent folder to the desktop. That pretty much sums it up for the features of this Explorer. Like I said, it's a pretty great um, Explorer. And the last thing I did want to show you though before I, I just remembered is the size charts, which can be accessed by going to the home. You click a folder and then you can class the folder options, go to manage, folder size chart, and it's gonna bring up this thing. Fortunately, my theme kind of messes with it, but normally you're gonna get it fine. Anyway, so that is about it. It's a great program. Um, it's still in the beta, so you may want to check it out and leave your opinion below. Again, it is a free software; can be accessed below. And uh, that's about it for the video, guys. Hope that you did enjoy it. Happy New Year, as this is um, the New Year has begun. And besides that, have a great day. Check the software out. Maybe you want to make the upgrade to the software. That's about it.
Have a great day. This is the Hacker Triple 7, and I'm signing off.